Vatos, what's happening with your bad self, man? I haven't seen you in a long time. It's so good to see me, man. What's happening? Hey, today I wanted to talk about Frankenstein. Now, I got quite a bit to say about Frankenstein because Frankenstein was, quite frankly, the first... <laughs> quite frankly, the first monster that I ever really got into. Thanks to my mother, uh, who... My mother named Vicky, who, uh, when I was a kid, pointed out when I was listening to The Grinch uh, Stole Christmas, I was watching The Grinch Stole Christmas, and she pointed out that the voice, you know, uh, the narration was of Boris Karloff, and that Boris Karloff was Frankenstein! And, you know, so that, like, clicked in my head, and I kept that with me for a long time, and, uh, Subsequently, I've gotten into so many Frankenstein movies, I just wanted to share a few of the good ones with you. Um, and the bad ones, too. Now, we all know that, of course, Boris Karloff did uh, Frankenstein, and then he did Bride of Frankenstein, and then what's this other one here? Son of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, right? And then, of course, Son of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein had Bela Lugosi in it, uh, you know, eating up the scenery. Uh, you know, as uh, Igor, or Igor, uh, which really made those movies extra special. Um, and then, of course, you get, you know, your Universal Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. You got your House of Frankenstein. You got your House of Dracula. Um, I don't know if Frankenstein was in that one. Uh, and then, you know, the parodies started coming. Now, one I like that I have here, I just have a disc to hold up, because I'm not sure where the cover is, but is... Uh, it's on Severn, of course. You can get this on Severn release. Uh, it's Lady Frankenstein. This one's got excellent special features, including great commentary that features uh, Kim Newman. And so that one's highly recommended. It's a parody, but it's a great. It's got all the stuff you know you want to see in a Frankenstein movie. And I think that that's probably the thing that I love the most is the electrical uh, apparatus in the Frankenstein movies. That's, you know, what really makes them special for me. I love that shit. You know, that Ken, uh, Ken Strick Patton, uh, stuff, you know. And yeah, I know who he is. Uh, but we're not gonna talk about stuff people already know. Oh, so here's another one I love. I love this one. It is Frankenhooker. Oh, this one, it, truly, if you only see one film this year, it should be Frankenhooker. Um, I'd be remiss to not mention Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. And of course, young Frankenstein, you know, Mel Brooks is incredible. We love Mel Brooks in this house. Uh, this one I kind of want to talk about, Blackenstein. Uh, they did a commentary. Um, they talked about this a little bit on the Horror Noir uh, documentary, which was a Shutter production came out pretty recently, and uh, when they mentioned this one, they basically said it's unwatchable. Well, it's not unwatchable, um, and I know what the deal is with this, it's sad. Um, there used to be kind of a joke going around about, you know, black people in horror movies, and that if you had a horror movie with a black person in it, you wouldn't be able to see it, because it's dark. Ha ha, right? It's like the dumbest fucking joke ever, but I remember hearing it. And uh, it seems to me that the cameraman decided that that's what he was going to do because there's really no other explanation for, for this. Uh, otherwise, still, really cool movie. Got great lab scenes. And when you do see Blackenstein, he's a monster. He's, he's pretty cool. Uh, you know, and this is a Severn production, so you can go get this. Great special features and highly recommended. Uh, so, you know... Got to talk about this, uh, Hammer, Curse of Frankenstein. I got a couple versions of this. This one's so good, you know, that I've got the UK edition and the American edition for all the different special features. Um, so, you know, that's something to check out, right? Um, all I'm gonna say is, uh, it came out in the late 50s and this was the first color gothics and uh, why people get mixed up and thinking Frankenstein was first. Was it Frankenstein or Dracula? Well, it was Dracula, but Frankenstein was first in the Hammer series, so highly recommended. Obviously, they did a few more, you know. Um, I like this one. This was kind of a reboot. 
evil of Frankenstein. They basically the first movie where they had uh, permission from Universal to use the likeness, and boy did they screw that up. Um, oh, here's the worst monster uh, almost ever done, and there's been a lot of bad ones, but this one's pretty bad. Uh, although reportedly the the guy who did it, who also was the uh, the uh, physical anatomy of uh, Darth Vader. Uh, stated that this was one of his best performances as an actor, so it is worth checking out. Uh, oh, Frankenstein Created Woman with Peter Cushing. This is incredible. Highly recommended if you can get this U.S. version. It's got amazing special features that are really, really worth seeking out. Um, so, yeah, Frankenstein Created Woman with Peter Cushing. Uh, one of the earliest ones, and probably the earliest television adaptation, was this one on Tales of Tomorrow, uh, and it featured Lon Chaney Jr. as the Frankenstein's monster, and he's just fantastic, full of pathos and everything you'd want, and probably one of the first times, uh, definitely on television, that Frankenstein was not shown as a comedic character. Uh, speaking of comedic characters, we've got this awesome gem from the video days, Frankie and his pals. Uh, this one's pretty forgettable, but yet it's still so special because it was shot on VHS, and those of us, the Gen Xers, remember the video days. I remember seeing this on the shelves, so I finally got to see it, and it's uh, it's okay. It's all right. It's kind of fun, you know, Frankie and his pals. Uh, it's one of those InterVision uh, releases. Uh, another seven real quick. Last two honorable mentions. Uh, Dracula versus Frankenstein. This one has the worst looking Frankenstein monster ever, um, and it's probably the worst Dracula ever too. Um, but it still has a lot of charm and there's great special features. And you know, you should you should pick it up. It's I, I love it. I have the deluxe version. I think it's highly recommended. And of course it comes with the brain of blood as a bonus. And then finally, Jess Franco's Dracula, Prisoner of Frankenstein, where Frankenstein scientist holds Dracula hostage and Dracula goes around eating nubile young victims that of course get naked because this is a Jess Franco movie. All right, and this is the awesome version on Severn with the bonus slipcover. Very cool, very cool Severn. Uh, feel free to send me promotional stuff to show. Uh, so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and uh, please check out my eBay uh, right now. It's Sagafu on eBay, and uh, you'll get a lot of great stuff like this, and I usually sell for less than uh, you know, manufacturer's list price, and I am an authorized dealer, I'm not a reseller, so you know. It's all rock and roll over here uh, with Sagafu on eBay and YouTube, man, so fucking kick back.